Hello friends, welcome to my another video on my YouTube channel TKF Electronics. I hope you all are doing fine friends. Well friends, thank you very much for your comments and uh, compliments. Well friends, today I am preparing this, uh, uh, this is RCF module model number HDL20-A. This is the one. So friends, uh, this is also belongs to one of my YouTube customer. So let's check it out what is the issue in this. So we will connect the power first. So guys, I have already got the power, see, there is no power, I have already connected, so though no light, nothing, so let's check out what's the issue, we'll put it on, first put it off, so friends, first we'll check the fuse over here, So oh guys, fuse is blown off. See, this is three point. This is three point one five MPa fuse. So this is very badly blown off. So it uh, maybe there is a, some strong shorting is will be there in the power supply. So anyway, we'll keep this aside. So what we'll do we'll first uh, check the where is the shorting. What is the part damage or get shorted? First, we will see is the new shopping. Why the fuse is blown off? So, we will check, we will keep the diode range. Is there any shorting in the rectifier or something like that? This is our rectifier. Okay. So this is the incoming. So there is no short. So there is no shorting. So no shorting, my friend. Okay. So anyway, we will keep in the buzzer range. So there is no. This is the bridge rectifier. So there is no shorting here inside. So now we will check some circuit in the SMPS, this is the main SMPS uh, PW pulse width modulation IC, PMW IC this is, the number of this IC is IR21, IR2153S, so this is the IC, we will just check is there any shorting is there, this is the capacitor so there is no shorting over here this is the diode so no shorting uh, and so on pin number this is pin number 4 pin number 4 is grounded so this is negative negative point of terminal of capacitor main filter capacitor so we'll check some the shorting in the switching ic this is a p wm ic See guys, the pin number 3 I should not get this reading, this much reading I should not get. So we need to check this also. This is the two driver MOSFET, mm -hmm. saving some little shorting. MOSFET. So first what we will do, I have some doubt on this IC. See this transistor also same some shorting. See, we should not supposed to be. See 32 32 ohms. 
Actually, I must not get this much ohms. So here also, pin number three, see it's showing 2.1 kilo ohms. I should not get this. This is very low ohms. So I'm suspecting this IC and this transistor. So we need to we need to take this two out and check. So after taking this out, we'll separately we'll check the ohms either on the track or on the IC. So we'll after taking out this only we'll come to know exactly which is which is shorted this one or this one. So just keep watching my video. We'll prepare to dis uh, dissolve these two parts, IC and transistor. Guys, we have already removed IC and this transistor. So now we will check. Uh, so friends, so we have removed uh, pulse bit modulation and moderator IC and this uh, transistor. So we will check this transistor. So this is. See, it is shorted. See, it should not supposed to show. Base and emitter, see how, see how much it is showing. 129 ohms. So, this transistor is shorted. And collector is 2.4 kilo ohms. So, it should not supposed to show like this. Okay, so this is confirmed. This transistor is, this is the NPN transistor. This is faulty and the condition of uh, pulse with modulator IC is PWMIC is also same I think we should see it showing 1.7 kilo ohms shorted see see is pin number 1 and pin number 4 it should not supposed to show this much so this is confirm PWM IC and transistor both is faulty so now what we will do we will check some other part also so this is diode so diode is good And this the condition of this MOSFET driver MOSFET. Let me check. So before this was showing from shorting, but now no nothing. So it's good our diode, uh, our N channel driver MOSFET is uh, safe. Okay, guys. So this is also because it's showing shorted because the four point seven ohm resistor is connected to the parallel of the diode. That's why. Okay, so let's check uh, the pin before it was showing. See, there's no shorting. So, no shorting, I think. So, guys, I think the rest is okay. So, now what we will do? There are two more transistors over here. We'll check this also. Okay. No more shorting. Okay, no more shorting this is good. So guys, what we'll do? We'll just clean this area first. Clean this. This area should be like this neat and clean, okay, guys. So, now what we'll do, we will fix new part now.
So friends, we have fixed the IC. Perfect, everything. Okay. Now, so now we'll check applying power. So just keep watching my video, guys. So we'll apply power now. We'll check. So guys, we have already replaced this uh, circuit driver IC, this is transistor and pin transistor. So this is gate driver IC, driving to MOSFET, in channel MOSFET is signed this. So this is uh, PWM of gate driver IC, you can also call. So this is the one. So now we'll connect the power and check what is the status. So we'll put on now. So I already there is a power. See you guys, see now it's on, okay, so now what we will do, we will give some signal, see power is coming, you can see the lights, all high voltage, low voltage lights are coming, okay, so we will give some input signal, audio input signal, Okay, then we'll check the audio output also from this speaker highs and mid both. So I'll give the input signal. Okay. I have given the input. So, so okay. So okay. So why is working? fine thank you very much for watching my video guys take care see you very soon next video bye